What's the most inappropriate thing you've witnessed at a funeral? My own kids. Boys ages 10 and 8. At their great grandfather's wake. They got a chair and moved it to the casket and started making his mouth into smiley face. Laughing the whole time. When me and their grandfather, my father-in-law, saw it. I immediately pulled them away and told them they shouldn't do that. Grandpa laughed and said it's fine. He would have really loved that they did that. We later found out that the great-grandfather had asked the funeral home ahead of time to put a sign in his hand that said thanks for coming but they refused. The funeral home putting a random guy in my grandfather's casket. Suit. Glasses. And wedding band. While then admitting that they had misplaced my grandfather was fairly inappropriate for a funeral. At my grandpa's funeral in 2006 a random drunk woman that no one in our family knew stumbled in and started singing show tunes. Then crying till she was escorted out. At my cousin's funeral. One of my relatives literally tried jumping in the casket with him. Really traumatizing experience I might add. At a family friend's funeral. A man I allegedly met when I was three came up behind me. Pulled my head back by placing his hand on my neck and told me that I might not remember him now but I will someday. That creepy old dick fart. At an open casket wake, a friend of the deceased attempted to give her a drink of single malt whiskey. She ended up being forcibly removed as she wouldn't stop and spilled a lot of the alcohol in the casket. It was as horrible and inappropriate as it was heartbreaking for everyone. Someone trying to quietly open a can while they were doing the closing prayer. I was at my then boyfriend's friend's funeral. Her aunt sat with me at the back and told me that she spontaneously lubricates at funerals. Scooched away re all quick. The mother of the deceased putting on a, terribly acted and meth-fueled, show about how much she loved and missed her daughter. Shortly thereafter she was convicted of the daughter's murder. My brother-in-law's girlfriend locked herself in a car. Cried and screamed threatening to kill herself. At my father-in-law's funeral. She was fine five minutes later and explained to my in-law she did it because she's not used to not having all the attention. She thought her being pregnant would make people forget that the father died. My best friend died last year from a random heart failure at 25. The pastor at the funeral went on for about 10 minutes about how we had all killed him because we were sinners and that we should join his church to make amends. He didn't know any of us. It was very uncomfortable. At my grandfather's funeral. The stand-in. Curmudgeonly pastor kept calling my grandfather by the wrong name. Pastor. We are here to memorialize the life of John Smith. Crowd looks confused. Pastor. John Smith lived a good life. I had never personally met John Smith. But my spouse loudly. Well. I've never met John Smith either. His name was Bob White. Everyone attending burst out laughing. The priest repeatedly referred to my grandmother by the wrong name. After the fourth or fifth time my aunt got up and, and quietly told him the correct name. My grandmother had attended church weekly for decades. There was no reason for the priest to not know his parishioner. Needless to say we did not pay his fee. I guess it's not totally inappropriate given who had died. But a group of guys lit up a fat joint at a funeral I went to in HS. I guess it was his smoking buddies but it didn't go over that well. Was that at the funeral of a priest once. He was so well liked in the church. Not only were there dozens of other priests. But something like two or three bishops. More than half of the people had to stand outside of the church and listen via loudspeaker. Kind of hard. When the neighbor of the cemetery plays anti-church and anti-god songs loud enough to hear nothing else. I'm absolutely not religious and usually listen to exactly the same music as well. But holy cow that was inappropriate. Especially because the guy got up at around 8 day. M. On a Sunday. JST so he could duck with people. At my great grandmother's funeral. Her son showed up to the funeral wearing cockies and his bright orange Tennessee Vols shirt. Then he started yelling at my mom when she asked him who the pallbearers were going to be. Mainly throwing a fit about who was in the will. Mind you we hadn't even left the funeral home yet and were literally needing to know who they would be at that very moment. 
Needless to say we don't talk to that side of the family anymore. One of my best friends died in September. There were some questionable circumstances surrounding his death. In that we were all pretty sure it was drug related, heroin. Anyways. The guy that got him into the stuff. Who shot him up the night he died. Showed up to the funeral. Hi. I could have killed him. Not sure if this counts as inappropriate but when my high school classmate died, we were already in college Eric. His ex, also high school classmate, came to the funeral. She cried so dramatically, because she wasn't able to end things with our dead HS classmate on a good note, that guests thought she was the current so slash GF that time. Current so slash GF was left alone sitting alone staring blankly at the casket while relatives slash friends slash HS classmates comfort the ex. Also it got to the point that the boyfriend, can't recall if he attended or just got word of what happened, of that girl during that time got jealous and got angry because it looked like she cared more for the dead than him, posted a rant on social media. My grandma died a few years ago and we decided on a burial. After the interment ceremony, the groundskeeper asked us if we would like to leave before they finished packing the dirt. My family said no. Cut to us horrifically watching my grandma's casket get repeatedly dirt punched by an excavator. It was more disturbing than inappropriate. Maybe isn't as over the top as most of these comments. But I'm one of the marines that has to go present the flag to the next of kin when a service member dies. It's usually old Vietnam and Korea vets. But sometimes it's a desert storm or recent war vet and the mother is there receiving the flag instead of a son or daughter. Point is I've probably been to 45 funerals in the past year. It's striking how often someone's phone goes off during the service. It seems nearly every other or every third service someone's ringtones start playing. There's been a few times where someone will get up from their seat and answer the phone too. At my great aunt's funeral in rural Missouri. Open casket. Small country church. The pastor says my great aunt's dying wish was for one more person to embrace the teachings of Jesus Christ and to stand up right now and receive baptism in front of God and his congregation. Everybody's head swiveled in my direction, except the corpses. Nope. It'll just stare up at the ceiling for a while guys. Thanks. The lady who convinced my mother to ditch chemo and use essential oils. Handed put this cards at her funeral. When my dad's mom passed away. There were a lot of people there. He comes from a family of 11. 10 now as his sister passed away a while ago. So there were a lot of nieces. Nephews and cousins. It was an open casket. I was around 12 to 13. But everyone was grabbing things from her slash off her from the casket. All the aunts grabbing things for their kids who don't even know her slash remember who she is slash way too young. The only thing my dad has a keepsake of his mother is a little rose pin that she wore in the home she was in before she passed. It's unfortunate and makes me feel very sad for my dad. I've mentioned it before but at the wake for my very young sister. My aunt started talking to me about how she was going to write children's books and gave me a pen with her contact information on it. I'm not sure what she wanted. But I write and edit and I was working on an English degree and we barely ever see her so I took it as self-promotion. Not offering ways to reach out. My mom threw the pen away. A marriage proposal to the recently widowed. She accepted, 